Only one headline tonight on White Hot News and Leeds United have dispensed with the services of boss Simon Grayson and his coaching staff. There is a full statement on the website leedsunited.com. Chief Exec Sean Harvey said with 18 games to go this season, uh, we are still within touching distance of the playoffs but felt with the transfer window now closed, we needed to make the change at this time in the belief that a new managerial team will be able to get more out of the existing squad of players and make the difference. Simon and his staff have given the club over three good years service and we would like to place on record our thanks and wish them all the best for the future. Current youth team manager Neil Redfern has been asked to take temporary charge of the first team until a new manager is available and the full statement is on the website. Now a short time ago this afternoon I spoke to the Leeds United chairman Ken Bates. Good afternoon Ben. I'm sorry that uh, we couldn't speak earlier but uh, I was travelling as you know. Uh, chairman we'll start with the, the statement on leedsunited.com. Uh, the club have dispensed with the services of Simon Simon Grayson and his coaching staff. Uh, can you um, give us the thoughts behind this decision? Well, I think that, um, first of all, we have to acknowledge the fact that in the previous three seasons, Simon uh, got us to the playoff semi-finals. He won his promotion the next year. Last year, we finished seventh. And contrary to some of the nutters on tweet and Twitter, we backed him all the way. The first time I said no to a player that someone wanted to buy was last Thursday, when he wanted to sign a player who's going to cost us £600,000 a year. I said, we've already got six centre-backs, all of whom you signed. We have, at 30, we had probably the largest, or well, one of the largest squads in the Championship and a bigger squad than many clubs in the, in the Premiership. Our wage budget was £9.5 million pounds this year. We spent over £12 million. Pounds. So these people who are blaming me for the results don't know what they're talking about. Every penny that we've made from transfer fees has gone back into the team, either in transfer fees or wages. Don't forget, if you sign a player for, say, on, on a free transfer, say, on 500000 a year, which with tax is 600000 a year, you give them a three-year contract, you're committing like up to £1.8 million, pounds, which is a tremendous amount of money. The Championship Club, we have six strikers, we have six centre-backs, and all of a sudden, oh, I can't say why, none of them any good enough. Well, we've got three teenagers in the back four. The manager's the manager. He decides who he wants to buy. We just, we, the club, me, the chairman, all for it. We just pay for it. But the fact of the matter is, we've conceded more goals than almost any other club in the championship. We've got three teenagers in the back four. And therefore, reach as far as we can. Uh, the present system isn't working. So what have we got now? We've got 18 games to go. Nine at home, nine away. We can still get into the playoffs. I think automatic promotion is looking a bit remote. But I think we need a fresh start, fresh look, fresh attitude and a new movie on. We have Andy O'Brien coming back, which is one of Simon's signings. And now he's, uh, he's now back at the club. So hopefully we'll, that will strengthen our back four. So we'll see what happens in the last quarter of the season. Do you have confidence in, in the squad and the, the players at the club that they can make this charge? Well, Simon told me in November we we're going to win promotion. These players haven't become bad players overnight. They've got a problem there somewhere, but we don't know what it is. But uh, I'm a little bit disappointed when Simon said after last night that you know, he's working to financial constraints. Jesus, nearly 30% over budget on players' wages. And people, are, some of the fans are banging about loan players. Uh, who, who scored the winner against us when we played at, when we played at Emirates? It was a loan player, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's not a question of how much you spend on the transfer fee. It's a question of the quality of play you get. He's a free player. Free transfer, we pay £35 million pound for a cow or £50 million pound for a tourist. So money itself doesn't mean anything. The important thing is quality and value for money. And what I don't understand is why we are where we are with what we spent. I mean, don't forget, when we were beaten by Barnsley 4-1, their weight bill was £4.5 million. Pounds. Ours was £11.5 million. Pounds. So clearly we're not getting value for money, are we? So if we need, since the present system isn't working, we need a fresh look fresh start. Having said that, thank you to Simon for what he's done in the past and his two uh, assistants, but we have to move on. The, the statement on the website says that Neil Redfern uh, will take temporary charge until a new man is available. Uh, Neil, obviously a, a man with uh, plenty of experience of the game. Oh yes, I mean he's a toughie. Look how, he, look how the, under his control the players have been coming through from the academy. We've got seven academy players now, I think it's seven, in our first team squad. That's a tribute to the way we work and uh, at the lower levels. And I'm sure that he will uh, bring, a fre bring a fresh face and see what's happening. And then that gives us time to rethink and uh, move on. Chairman, always uh, difficult days, uh, but I suppose from this point you just have to look forward to the, the remainder of the season. Oh, yeah. Um, 
it's amazing. 62% of our seeds have been renewed already, and thank you for those who have done it. It demonstrates that despite the vociferous minority, now a very small minority, hence the old saying, empty vessels make the most sound, people can see what we're trying to do in the long term. We're building a club first and a team second. That's most important, and we're making progress at a time when so many clubs are in financial difficulties. I've got to do a funny story. There's a guy that has failed to take over Portsmouth. We haven't come up with the readies. I met him three months ago at the request of somebody else who's interested in investing in Leeds. And they come through the door every day, every week of the month. All these people say, spend, spend. Well, spend, why should anybody spend? And what's more important, because of a text I got yesterday, why would anybody want to invest in a club where there's a vociferous minority, makes the most bad vibes? Well, do me a favour, don't need it. Anyway, all these people that claim that they have contacts and have money, including the Leeds United Supporters Trust, well, no problem, then put their money where their mouth is. Leeds United chairman Ken Bates speaking to Yorkshire Radio a short time ago this afternoon.